Environmental Management Systems for the Construction Industry Today, Harmonized Environmental Management Systems, or EMS, is widely adopted in the business world. As we know, environmental management systems first initiated in Japan in the electronic industry in the 1980s and later spread to USA and Europe. In latter regions, EMS was adopted initially by high-polluting industries such as chemical and power. Later, it was gradually introduced to the other industries that had lesser environmental impacts. Many construction companies all over the world are facing numerous environmental challenges. For instance, stringent and complex environmental laws and regulations, increasing compliance costs and heavy penalties for violation could affect any construction company's survival in terms of profitability and growth. In addition to such growing challenges, increasing public demand for environmental concerns is catalyzing construction companies to think differently or look for innovative ways to improve or sustain their solvency. Similarly, numerous construction companies, either small or large, have demonstrated that a sound EMS is not only beneficial in many ways, but also a novel way to remain competitive in a highly volatile market towards ecologically sustainable development. The construction industry produces roads, railways, schools, hospitals, community, and recreational facilities, as well as other installations that form our built environment and shape our landscape. In the past, economic development, social programs, and environment protection occurred largely in isolation from each other. Today, however, there is a growing understanding that these systems are interlinked and that social, economical, and ecological objectives are interdependent. Ecologically sustainable development has been defined as using, conserving, and enhancing the community's resources so that ecological processes in which life depends are maintained and the total quality of life now in the future can be increased. It is well-known fact that countless number of construction companies globally have immensely benefited through implementation of EMS. For example, the benefits are many. Lowering cost through prudent use of resources and waste minimization. Ability to comply with stringent environmental laws and regulations, thereby reducing risk, delays, and avoid penalties. Ability to monitor or keep track environmental issues pertaining to all phases of construction projects. Increase competitiveness and explore market opportunities through environmentally friendly construction services offered to environmentally sensitive customers. Facilitate effective communication and dialogue among all stakeholders involved internally as well as externally. In other words, fostering better relationships with regulators or law enforcement agencies, including the communities. Enhance corporate image as a socially and ecologically responsible construction business. Creating a high-involved or motivated and responsible staff, a responsive environmental team within the organization. An effective EMS means not only keeping the external working environment healthy, but also maintaining a safe and healthy working condition through occupational and healthy OHNS procedures. In essence, the former involves implementation of ISO 14001, and the latter comprise a occupational health and safety measures stipulated in OHS AS 18002-2008. This shows EMS and other OHS and S measures must blend together for successful implementation of an EMS in a construction business. An ISO 14001 International Standards stipulates the exact requirements for an EMS. It essentially applies to environmental concerns which the construction organization has to control over at the same time such concerns can have an influence in its performance. In essence, ISO 14001 is a voluntary standard that can be adopted by any construction organization. It mainly helps the organization to systematically control construction activities that have a detrimental effect in the environment. Specifically, it covers 17 elements or aspects clustered into five key areas, namely environmental policy, planning, implementation operation, 
Checking and Corrective Action, Management Review. Principally, ISO 14001 helps any construction company to comply with applicable environmental laws and regulation while improving their environmentally related processes on a continual basis. In reality, any environmental management system or EMS is a unique management process which pursues plan, do, check, act, model, or approach. It introduces an agenda to examine all environmental aspects pertaining to operations of a construction company. Similarly, it helps the organization not only to develop, implement, monitor, review, and revise action plans and procedures on a continual basis, but also improve the construction company's overall operation that have an impact to the environment. A sound environmental practice in construction project means Conducting for all projects a comprehensive environmental impact assessment, encompassing all stages from inception through to operation and ultimately decommissioning or demolition. All identified impacts should be eliminated where possible or mitigated during the life cycle of the project. Integrating throughout the project life cycle the environmental management principles and systems. Implementing environmental awareness programs to ensure that contractors are able to fulfill their environmental management roles and responsibilities. Resource conservation and management should be a key consideration at all stages from project inception through operation and ultimately decommissioning or demolition. The key requirements for effective environmental management is that environmental issues must be identified, assessed, and managed during every phase of a project's life from inception through design, construction, and operation to eventual demolition or disposal. In summing up, EMS is essentially a management tool for modern construction organization. With rapidly increasing environmentally concerned customer base, any construction organization must adopt an effective EMS in order to increase its market share or sustain its business. It will certainly reap notable benefits such as improved environmental regulatory compliance requirements, minimize risks and liabilities, appreciably reduce or minimize waste and pollution, substantial cost savings through increased performance, and motivated staff, establishes procedures or system for continual improvement, and enhance corporate image among all stakeholders such as investors, potential customers, community groups, and regulatory authorities.